I'm on my way to Walmart right now. I'm gonna leave my security camera going in my kitchen to see if I can't catch any more activities going on. Uh, my security camera didn't catch anything. Nothing last night. Uh, I have a D-Link security camera. That thing is so old it may not work anymore. I don't know. I mean, it does shoot video. I did see that it shoots a video, but I can't. You download an app to your phone and that video camera wire go, connects up to your internet and then it wa then it watches over whatever you want it to watch over. If there's any movement, any sound, it'll start recording for 30. And when the sound and movement stops for like 30 seconds or whatever, or maybe a minute or whatever, then the video stops. Uh, I got that thing a long time ago when I was living in Morristown for my park, my trailer at the time um, to watch over my trailer because I had some activity going on next door that worried me. So, I don't know. That camera sensor thing, it may not work anymore or maybe it is working and I didn't capture anything, but um, I do got my video camera going. Just all time on my tablet, I got my video camera going watching the kitchen especially that one uh especially that one uh see it in a minute that one cabinet that locks to open that cabinet is open all the time every morning i get up that cabinet is open but i've never really thought anything about it because i usually leave cabinets open matter of fact i can't even remember did i leave it i think i did leave it open didn't i I can't remember if I left it open before I left. I think I left it open. I don't remember exactly, but I leave things, I leave cabinets open all the time. My ex-girlfriend used to get on to me about that. So I'm headed to Walmart to get some groceries early. It's about 10 minutes till seven before the madhouse, before the beehive gets started over there. Walmart, and you have to stand in line. Hopefully I won't have to stand in line when I get there. We'll see when I get there. I'm at this crazy red light where I may have sit two or three minutes. It's hard. I'll just put my foot on the brake and sit here. The car behind me is probably wondering why I didn't go. I couldn't go. That sneeze just blows my freaking neck up. Oh, I gotta go now. It's green. You know something? Whenever my body's in trauma, a lot of stress, like that sneeze hurt my neck really bad. It makes my legs just swell up. My leg will just, where I had that hematoma leg, whenever I get under tremendous pain or stress or something, my leg will just, that knot there just swells up. I wonder why that is. I don't know. That's a pretty good brand. I think that's LG. Yeah, it's LG. $188, but it's a 32 inch, 165 hertz. So it's 165 refresh rate. It's a 2K too. 2K, man, I would love to have that. That would be 
Like, I need another monitor. I know I got so many monitors, but that one there is pretty large. It's practically 32 inches. And it's 165. See, it says 165 for 32 inch. It's, uh, wow, well, see, it's actually a, that thing is sharp, man. Real sharp. And these are just the cheap old section TVs. Look at that. Do you see what that cost? Do you see what that cost? These TVs, 32 inch, $128. Hey. Good morning, Jim. I can't, let me holler back at you, brother. I can't, I'm kind of busy right now in the middle of something. I'll holler back at you, brother. Are you working this morning? No, I'm at Walmart trying to get some groceries before it gets busy here. And I, I've got to, I got to uh, think. Okay. Yeah, I can't, I yeah. I don't have my earphones with me, so let me get back at you. Okay, okay. Anyway, 40 inch TV, only $148. I remember about 15 years ago, I bought one like that and it was $1,000. I bought one like that, like, well, it was about 20 years ago and it was $1,000. It's the first one I ever bought. Actually, the one I bought wasn't even a 4K, and it was a $1,000. That's a 4K. That's crazy what, how the prices have come down. Anyway. Okay, that thing is the A and that won't go in my computer by the way. I'd have to have the I'd have to upgrade my motherboard and my RAM to get that. But I was just wondering what would uh wonder what new egg let's see here. Let me look it up here, man. Give me a second. Okay. Is my recording? I believe I am yeah. Look what new egg. AMD Ryzen 7 7800. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's absolutely it. Let's see, 7800. Yep. Okay. So that's a pretty good price. Unless they got it for different price. Sometimes they have it on here for different prices. How did I get that over here? Let's see here. 78. Somehow I lost it. Let's see. AMD 7800X. Well. Well, I'm looking. I'm, I'm not buying anything today. I just like looking at this stuff. This is my, this is my cup of tea. This is my hobby. This is my interest. This is what I like to look at shit and just play like I'm buying. I don't have anything to buy this, but I just like to know what the best deal is. Let's see here. I'm just looking at this real quick. You see, they, okay, 500, but it comes with a, it comes with a water cool heat sink, though. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, that's a 78. Hundred. That's at Walmart too. Wow. It's got the Intel. Huh. <laughs> Thing's thirty-nine dollars. 
Wait a minute, trying to. There it is, $39. That would make a good for your TV. If, anyway, I'll talk about that in a minute. You know what? Back in the day, I think this was about year 2003, when high definition flat screens first came out. That's about, what was that, 22 years ago or something like Almost 25 years ago. I remember buying my first flat screen high definition TV and it wasn't 4K and it wasn't a big one either. It was 32 inches. It was 32 inches. And I thought that thing was amazing because it was 32 inches. It was flat screen. And it was only 1080i. This sucker is 4K. Over twice the size. Look at this. 4K 65 inch TV. 4K 65 inch TV. Only $378. I paid on my first one that was a 32 inch 22 years ago. Okay. You know, things usually don't get cheaper. Usually they don't, but right here they do. I don't know, I can't get that thing to work right, but I've already measured it before because I was interested in knowing if it would fit on this wall, that big TV. I've already measured before. I was going to show you through my, let me cut this off. That 65 inch TV will fit all the way from the corner of that wall all the way to the edge of that door frame it will see i can't go no can't go no larger than 65 inches absolutely can't go no larger than 65 inches if i had the money they'd be 65 inches of tv on the wall right now i guarantee you ask but i don't have it uh, once again, those north and south bound lanes are moving pretty smoothly, and that's what we like to see this time of the morning. And this morning, GMA is showing you all the last-minute preps before the cavalcade. I like having a DVR. That's a thing TV tuner card, and I'm using rabbit ears. I don't have cable TV. I don't know if you can see the right down right down there is where it goes into rabbit ears. And my computer is playing that, and that's a DVR. I can rewind that, I can record that, and I use that DVR like crazy. Like like tomorrow night when my Georgia Bulldogs play Georgia Tech, I'll have it's too late, seven thirty, I'll be passed out of sleep. I'll record it and then I'll watch it on my computer the next day. But you know what? That if I was to ever sell this computer, I thought about selling this computer to get an Apple computer, to, to get another Apple computer. I like to have two Apple computers, but I'm probably not gonna do it because I do like to have Windows and Apple. But I'm just saying, if, big if, I was to sell this thing, right there's the TV card. That's what's playing that TV. See the cable coming out the back of it? If I was to sell this computer, I could buy that thing here at Walmart for 40 bucks and use that as a, that, thing, that thing's a DVR. It's only 40 bucks. I don't know how it works. I could have to look the reviews for a buy. I'd have to look the reviews for a buy, but that thing would be the answer. If I sold that thing to get an Apple computer, I like Apple way better. I like Apple OS way better than windows but on the contrary i do like to have both so i'll just have to keep it for right now that's fine well right over there folgers is my favorite coffee but that's that's twelve dollars twelve dollars Colombian. Is it the same price? 
quill, quill. Actually, the no wait a minute. I'm gonna have to check the C and the app. It looks like that is, or is it sixteen dollars? I don't know. Let me check the app. Whichever one's the cheapest between, I prefer Folgers the best. But Maxwell, Maxwell House is okay. If you buy that big thing, it's cheaper in the long run. Buy the big thing. But whichever one's the cheapest is the one that I plan on getting. Good morning, you good morning, YouTubers, and happy Thanksgiving from Timothy Collins. I'm so glad I found these glasses. I'm just gonna start off, I guess, with some positives here. I'm so glad I found these glasses. I think these glasses look good on me. And nothing wrong with the other glasses I got, but these I don't know why these fit so much more comfortably. They're just real comfortable fit. Real comfortable fit on my face. Um, I've been up since 2 a.m. again. But happy Thanksgiving. Um, it's the holidays. And they're always hard. Because... Um, Missing the old family. I come from a pretty big family. You know, I actually come from a big family. I had two brothers, of course, mom and dad. That's five of us. But I, my dad had, my dad had brother Scoop, Don, uh, Scoop. My, my dad's brothers, which is my uncle, is Scoop, Don, Maxine, Scoop Don Maxine and uh, Juanita. So my dad was a sibling of five. So I had four uncles and aunts there. And then on my mom's side of the family, there was uh, Uncle Jerry and Samuel. So that's six. Okay, so I had six uncles and aunts. Six uncles and aunts. And then because my uh, father's parents remarried. I grew up with three sets of grandparents, so that's six, that's six grandparents. So in all, far as parents, uncles, aunts, and grandparents, how many is that? Let's see. Let me see here. Six plus six is 12, plus mom and dad's 14. Then I had two brothers that's 16 people right there and i ain't got i haven't even got to the cousins yet everybody except the cousins 16 i had 16 parents grandparents uncles aunts and siblings or brothers 16 now you know what i have two just two brothers left and my Mom's younger brother, my mom's younger brother, Samuel, is still alive. So I've gone from 16 to 3. Which of the three, I don't hardly even see. Won't be seen today. So that's how it goes with Timbo. I never married. I have a child in heaven. Um, girlfriend had a miscarriage. I believe I got this one girlfriend. I don't want to talk about it. And uh, I do got one kid. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that. Um, so, yeah, that's just the way the holidays is for me. I had 16 in total. And then, I mean, you see if I can count my cousins I had that, I'm a know, that I know of. Let me see if I can count the cousins. I had Jason Sugar, Jason Sugar, that's two. Bobby, Lisa, Bobby, Lisa, and Chris. So Jason Sugar, Bobby, Lisa, Chris, that's five. And then I had Robert Allen, six. Jason Sugar, uh, Jason Sugar, Bobby, I just said her name, totally forgot her name. 
Let's see, Bobby, Lisa, Chris, Robert Allen. So that's six cousins that I had. Am I missing somebody? And then I had, uh, I don't want to forget, oh, I just remembered something. I don't want to forget uh, my Don, Don's wife, which would be my Aunt Sue. Of course, Aunt Sue. Don't forget her. Sue and Joe and Missy. You know, because my, you know, my, uh, now Samuel's ex-wife, I never really saw her that much. And I don't want to forget Sandra. Man, I bet I had over 20 people. And when you had the, by in-law, the ones that are in-law, I bet I had over 20 people. And then I forgot Sandra. Don't want to forget Sandra. See, then Sandra, and then there was, uh, Sue and Missy, I said Scoop, that was my dad's older brother. That was over 20 people. Over 20 people, folks. Um, here in a minute, you're going to see some video of me at Walmart. That wasn't taken this morning. That was taken yesterday morning. Walmart's probably closed this morning, I guess. I don't know, but... Uh, I just want to share something right now in my thoughts and my mind right now about something. I should have done already said something about this now. And I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why I haven't said anything yet. I should have said something by now, but I'm, um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Give me a minute here. It's in the car. On the 11th, on the 11th of December. I should have said something by now. And I've not said anything. On the 11th of December, I'm supposed to be at UT Hospital at 220, have a procedure on my neck at 320 in the afternoon. Cannot have anything to eat or drink eight hours before and I've got to call them on Monday and tell them this is going to be a huge huge problem for me I'm so afraid if I'm, I'm so afraid that see the deal is this this is what the deal is something that I know about spinal cord problems you can have, you can have the most horrendous looking, horrible looking MRI of a spinal cord situation and have zero pain. Did you know that? Or you can have just a minor little bulging disc and hurt like hell. Or either or. You cannot go by an MRI if somebody is in massive pain. That's something that I know. I was told that a long time ago. I don't know why that is. You would think if, you know, probably normally, the normal thing would probably, if the MRI looks horrible, you're probably in a lot of horrible pain, but not always. So with that thought in mind, what I just said, um, I'm just like, I don't, I don't want nobody to not take my back and my neck seriously. I've had a time in my life, in my younger years. When I was younger, I played football, okay? When I played football, I re-injured, re-injured my neck, I don't know how many times. And then my parents did send me to a chiropractor, but there was the longest time in my life when I told, when I was told that my neck pain problem, I don't know how long I was, a long time in my life, till I was 29 years old, actually. I know I think here. I think I was 30 years old. I think it was 30 years old. Till I was 30 years old. First 30 years, 
I injured my neck. I hurt my neck when I was in fifth grade. I think I was like 11 or 12 years old then. And from 11 to 12 years old to 30 years old, that's about two decades, isn't it? I was told repeatedly, it's all in your mind. Your neck's all right. It's all in your mind. And I struggle with neck pain, neck pain, killing me, killing me, wondering why do I hurt? And then people telling me that it's all in my mind. So when you go through 20 years of trauma like that and you're told it's all in your mind, that makes me, I'm like, I don't want that to, I don't want that to happen again. It's not in my mind. It's real. It's so real. The problem is so real that I've already had four extra, I've already had four surgeries on my neck. I was supposed to last year had a fifth one and I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to have a fifth one. Doctor changed his mind. So after what I've been through, I'm like still in the back of my mind, like I don't somebody I don't wanna say I feel I'm afraid I'm gonna say something wrong. And I'm going to go back to the 20 years of, oh, he don't really have a problem. Yes, I certainly do. So that's what is in the back of my mind and why I react a certain ways sometimes because of what I went through. So with that thought in mind, um, I'm afraid if I tell them I need to reschedule this, you know, if somebody's in severe, severe pain, why would they reschedule it? It looks like they would want it done right away. Or it looks like they would, if you're hurting enough, they would call an ambulance right away. I've dealt with, I'm a, I feel like I am a professional pain taker because I've dealt with so much pain my whole life. I don't want to go to the emergency room. I hate that place. Um, I just don't want to go to the emergency room. I hate that place. And I've been to the emergency room before with my neck problem, and this is the deal. This is the deal. If I go to the emergency room, I feel like I'm going to sit there for so many hours in a chair. And when I sit in a chair, I'm not going to be able to sit like this in a chair. I'll have to be sitting like this. And if I sit there and wait and wait in the emergency room for a certain amount of time, sitting in a chair bent this way, now they're going to be seeing me not only for my neck, but my low back problem too. So, and I don't like being in a building of sick people and all this. And I don't, another thing is too, I don't like being in a room with four walls, you know? So, the emergency room is like one of the last places on earth that I would want to go to. I'm just telling you how it is with me in my mind. I just don't tell you how it is. And, but anyway, I feel like if I reschedule this, they're going to be like, they're going to be thinking, well, looks like to me if he was in, he'd want to get this over with, the sooner the better. Absolutely. Agree. Absolutely. The sooner the better. I want this over with sooner the better, please. But, however, I have been thinking, thinking, thinking about this. Thinking, thinking about this. Now I'm thinking out loud about this, what I've been thinking. The 11th of December. Be there at 2.30 p.m. Have the procedure at 3.30 p.m. And I got to go all day long with no food. Not only that, but I can't take my Celebrex. They said don't take your Celebrex because it thins your blood too much. And I already got a platelet problem. They've already told me five days prior, don't take your Celebrex. So my pain is going to be fired up. It's going to be hard for me to go all day with no food. And then when I get there, they might get to me at two, three, three thirty. They might get me. What if they're late? What if they're two hours late? And then I've been sitting there that whole time. Not only that, but I, I'll have to go all day long and not take anything for my pain. That's going to be too rough on me in one day. I need to have somebody with me, and I need to be put to sleep when they do this. Why? 
do I need to be put to sleep? Because I have to lay down on my stomach face down. If I lay on my stomach face down in about 10 minutes, that breaks my pain out so bad, they're gonna be, there's going to be somebody screaming in the OR of UT, and that'll be me. I will be yelling. I will be yelling if they don't get to me in 10 minutes. They're going to have to put me to sleep. I don't have a driver right now. i got to figure out a driver. And then they're telling me that in the hospital, the insurance won't pay to be put to sleep. It's an extra $150. I don't have an extra $150 at all. I want to tell them i got to reschedule. This is going to be too hard on me to go, what, five days without my medicine? Five days without it's going to now it's going to break my brain out. Now I'm going to be needing sit. Now I'm going to be going to the emergency room for my neck and my low back. And then I that's just going to be it's going to have to be done in the morning. Have to be done in the morning. I can't go all day long like that. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to have to call and tell them Monday. I should have done I already. Told them this by now. I don't know why. I just I just uh, but I was thinking in my mind. The whole time, you better not tell them reschedule. It's going to look like you're not hurting. I feel like if you tell them, I need to reschedule to another time, that's going to push it back in. It'll probably push it back in time, especially UT. And they're going to look like, it's going to look like, don't you want this over with right away? Absolutely want this over with right away. Absolutely. You can do it. I'll tell them you can do it. Whatever day you want to do it, but I can't do it in the afternoon like that. Go five days without my Celebrex. Go five days without my Celebrex. And then get there at 2.30, maybe get it done at 3.30. And then I'm going to have to lay on my stomach. That ain't happening. I want to call and talk to them about it. If they don't understand, then they don't understand. Whatever.